January 2024 was a most memorable evening at Shangri-La Rasasayan Resort when the red carpet was rolled out to welcome and pay tribute to 50 golden couples whose weddings there are now part of the resort's history and 50th anniversary. This event brought together a very select group of 50 golden couples who had their wedding at Rasa Sayang from 1973 when the resort opened its doors to 1980. To qualify for an invitation, the couples must provide proof of their special occasion at Rasa Sayang by presenting images, photographs and invitation card of their wedding at the resort. Only the first 50 couples to come forward were extended the invitation. Months in preparation, the day finally came when these couples, invited from near and far, relieved the most cherished day of their union at Pelangi Ballroom, which for many was where they embarked on their journey of life together. They were warmly welcomed by Mr. Marcus Chris, the area general manager of Shangri-La Group in Penang. Just for marriage, is built on a foundation of patience, understanding, and unwavering support. The master of ceremony that evening was Mr. Gilbert Koo, a veteran in the local entertainment scene. Ably backing him is a band rendering many golden favorites, taking us down memory lane. <laughs> The highlight of the evening was when the golden couples come together for a group shot. This is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime moment for each of them. No celebration is complete without a cake, and so there's also a 50th anniversary cake which the golden couples post for photos. Everything was planned to the tiniest detail and to immaculate perfection. The menu for the evening, for example, is based on the actual wedding banquet menu from 1979, resurrected specially for this evening to refresh everybody's memory of the special day back then. We have such a beautiful uh, <clears throat> other half. Today, 
She's still as beautiful, if not more beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but her nails are not real nails. Eyelashes are not real eyelashes. Her hair, genuine hair, but different color. As for me, I was losing my bachelorhood. So they say, if you stay single, you see wonders happen. If you have a girlfriend, you make wonders happen. Yeah. The rest of us got married and wonder what happened. <laughs> That's my best thing. The other thing I lost was my hair. Oh. I just lost my hair. So they said, if you are born in front, you are a great thinker. If you are born at the back, you are a great lover. <laughs> so if you are born in the front and back, you, you are those who, you belong to those who think they are great lovers. <laughs> But if you're born in front, it shows that you are more horny than your wife. <laughs> because you can't you push, push, push in the water. If you're born at the back, you are you your wife is more horny because she drags her. <laughs> so anyway, we are grateful for the memory. We have three children. My son 39, daughter 37, and youngest son 29, and we have two granddaughters. We also take this opportunity. Sorry? Grandchildren. Uh, two grandchildren. Oh, sorry, two grandchildren, a girl and a boy. We want to be grateful for our lives. And just now somebody asked me, what is the most important thing? If I can put everything into one word, it's forgiveness. We forgive because our God first forgiveness. So we want to say thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for some lovely words. My wife and I are immensely grateful to Shangri-La Rasa Sign Resort for this wonderful opportunity to bear witness to the evening which is meaningful not only to the resort and the couples but to Penang itself for being host to this historical moment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now click the thumbnail below to watch the next one.